The sun is setting on our time in Grenada. After being here eight weeks, we are finishing the last of the boat projects and preparing ourselves for departure. Last week, we replaced a damaged line with a new line that I ran through the mast. Now I am adding protection to the new line to avoid it being damaged and having to replace it again. I'm trying to get the line inside the shape protection. So victory is almost mine. It's taken me a while to get this piece of line through this cover, but I was able to get the fit through. So my next step is I am going to take this up to the mast where this line lays against the radar dome. The radar dome is where the line has been rubbing. That's one more item off the to-do list. Next up we are replacing a lost batten. Battens are fiberglass rods that are inserted in the sail to help stiffen and shape the sail. For this project I am using an angle grinder, Grace's least favorite tool. I leave Bill to the angle grinder and turn my attention to a very important remaining to-do item, and that is to purchase chocolate to take with me when we leave Grenada. I'm taking a trip today with our friend Karen to a different chocolate farm to load up on my favorite kind. chocolate factory, which is my favorite chocolate, my favorite Grenadian chocolate, so I'm super enthused. I'm gonna load up on chocolate before we leave, um, so I have a supply that will hopefully, hopefully last till we get to the Bahamas. It's beautiful, and we're up in the area of Victoria, um, which is a part of Grenada that I haven't been to before now, and it's really tropical and lush. Grenada produces some of the world's finest chocolate. Only 5% of chocolate is considered to be of fine quality, and Grenada is one country of about 20 whose chocolate makes the list. The climate, soil, and cocoa bean type all contribute to the quality of the chocolate. There's the cashew tree. Grenada's lush, tropical forests are perfect for growing cocoa. The cocoa trees grow very quickly in the island's fertile soil, and within one year of being planted, cocoa can begin to be harvested from a tree. We head inside the store to make our purchase. While I'd like to purchase a lifetime supply, I am on a budget. Plus, there's only so much Calico Skies can hold. Being around so much chocolate has made us hungry, so we head to a nearby estate for lunch. As we drive, I'm trying hard to soak in everything I can about Grenada, with our departure date moving closer and closer. So uh, I think today will be my last time going food shopping in Grenada. We're loading up for our next travel destination, which is Dominica, and it's kind of bittersweet. I'm going to be taking the shuttle. They have a little shuttle here in Prickly Bay to, that caters specifically to cruisers and takes them to the food stores, so I'm going to go do that for the last time. Um, and yeah, a little bittersweet, as I said, because it's uh, been really, really good time in Grenada. And, the services they offer for cruisers are like, you know, a really big part of the Grenadian culture here. And I'm gonna miss that. I've actually, I've met some really nice people on the food shuttle. Um, so yeah, 
and she's late, so I have to get her to go. Are you glad that you're not going with me? Yeah, I have stuff to do. <laughs> Food shopping is a bit of a chore here because it takes, the shuttle, it takes a long time. It's a process, but it's like everything else with cruising. I like time. So here we go, I'm late. cleaning the anchor chain, which after two months is severely overgrown. Oh my god. Next he moves to cleaning the hull and bottom, which rival the anchor chain in terms of plant growth. And while he does that, I'm going to work on some meal prep for the passage. It helps to have some meals ready when you're offshore. So I'm here working on this kalaloo soup. This is what it looks like. There's onions in here, um, garlic, and some ground bay leaf. It tastes better than it looks. Yeah, it doesn't look that appealing, actually. So this is after I blended it with the immersion blender, and it smells so good. Like, I can't describe in words what the difference is between the spinach flavor and the kalu, but one way I would describe it would be like buttery. It's just a lot more mild. It doesn't have like that bite that spinach has. Um, and it just pairs so well with coconut. So good. I love discovering vegetables in the Caribbean. Hey guys, so we are preparing to be picked up for our turtle tour. It's pretty far out in Grenada and it's gonna take at least an hour and a half to get there. So we're leaving now and we're gonna do a tour. And then when uh, night falls, that's when the turtles begin to slowly make their way down the beach. So we might be out there for a while, um, but I'm really excited about it. I feel like this is my, this could be my closest Nat Geo moment, hopefully not the last, so. Yeah, and Karen's gonna pick us up in a few minutes, so we gotta run. Luckily, leatherback turtle nesting season is just starting, so we're squeezing it in before leaving. On the way, we pass a church and stop to take a look. Excited for turtles? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what this is sound turtles make. Leatherback turtles, the largest living species of reptile dating back to the era of the dinosaurs, are sadly now critically endangered, ranging in size from four to six feet and a weight of 660 to 1100 pounds. The turtles visit Grenada from March to August, returning to the beach where they were born every two years to lay their eggs. Leatherbacks dive to depths of a thousand meters and migrate long distances from as far as Ireland and Western Africa to the Caribbean. With our tour completed, we head to the beach where red lights only are permitted and no flashes are allowed. So we made it to the Turtle Beach, La Vera Beach, just to give you guys an idea of the atmosphere here. Basically, it were a pretty windy, barren type of beach, big ocean waves right behind us. Turtles can take hours to show up, so we're just sitting around snacking, having some drinks, kind of waiting to see if we get lucky tonight, and one of these incredible creatures makes an appearance. Unfortunately, no turtles appeared, but the experience was memorable, and the next time I get my chance, it will be that much more special. Quite the spread, Karen. <laughs> you are amazing. And what is that you're mixing up right there? Pineapple, orange juice, um, soda water, Ooh. and champagne. Are we I mean... 
<laughs> she looks at Thomas. I'm always down for some champagne. Of course, you can be persuaded. So today we are clearing out of Grenada. It's pretty exciting. We've been here a long time. We've had a great time, but it's definitely time to go. So um, I will be clearing out with customs and immigration today, um, which is a new thing for me. Usually Bill does it, but we're trying something. We're changing up the rolls. Yeah. The blue and pink rolls. That's right. Time for the oil change. Yeah, not too, not quite up to the oil change, but don't mind doing this, so. Back on Calico Skies, we have Sophie on board for the last time. Sit. Lay down. Roll over. Hey, roll over. Down. Yeah. Roll over. Roll. <laughs> Burr. Burr. Shh, shh. Down. Hey, it's so down. Roll. Burr. Roll over. Burr. Roll. Last night in Grenada, we're getting up really early to leave tomorrow. We were supposed to leave tonight, but we decided it took us all day to do the things we had to do. We're both kind of tired and it's always safer to be alert. Um, so, and this way we're gonna get in at a better time anyway um, to Dominica. So yeah, we're heading to the Tiki Bar to have one more final little meal and some drinks. And yeah, it's officially our last night in Grenada. Yeah, and go to bed early. Have any thoughts to share? Um, I like this better. Yeah. Get to have a beer, get to relax a little bit. Yeah, it was like a marathon. It's always a marathon when we prepare for passages. We also hear that there's been some pretty strong winds coming down the mountains of Grenada, like 30 knot gusts and stuff, so I'd rather deal with that during the day when we're fresh instead of at like midnight tonight. Yeah, definitely. And we, Plus, haven't, we haven't sailed in like We haven't sailed in so long, too. Yeah. I don't even know if I remember how to sail. <laughs> Cheers, honey. To relax. <laughs> to our last night in Grenada. Yep. <laughs> nice. What do you got there, honey? What are you up to? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> to me, to you, that's a lot of chocolate. This is not so normal. How long is gonna last for it? I don't know. That's what I'm worried about. Um, I obviously can't eat one a day because then it's only gonna last me till. How much am I buying? So you're buying. So you have 10, 20, 20. 30. Right, so if I eat one a day, okay. I can't do that. You can't do that. That's <laughs> only a month. That's one month. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. should I buy a little more?